Well, while Hugh's just rolling the cigarette, this seems like a good time to give a content warning for uh, this particular project. There may be some effing and jeffing, some uh, coarse language that the young ones might not want to hear. I think it's time for you to start to seriously consider salads. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, get off my car before you flip it over, you fat fuck. I don't like food. I love it. <laughs> Is that all you people do? The lunch we had with Jim and Woodchip. Good evening and welcome to episode 11 of The Daily Dined. What up? Um, <laughs> cut. Uh, <laughs> Where did we go tonight, Hudson? We went to West Clandon, which is a village outside of Guildford, to a pub called the Onslow Arms. Yeah, a very highly rated pub, highly mm-hmm. regarded in the area, for sure. Loads of ratings on TripAdvisor and Google as well. Like, uh, What's it rated on TripAdvisor? Like 4.6 stars, yeah, nice. with quite a lot of reviews mm. for a pub, in my unprofessional opinion, so I was looking forward to it. And you've been, but not for food, just for drinks. Yeah, I've had drinks more or less this time last year. Is that why, um, where the inspiration for this place came from, do you think? Uh, I don't think I knew anything about it prior to... I've, I've heard about it. Okay. Again, it's one of those things I've just heard about, and maybe it's just from working near there to me, maybe... But we were just looking for a pub. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is probably the best rated pub for food. Yeah. Anywhere near us. And let me tell you something. I am stuffed. Mm. Mm. But we'll get to that. What did you think of the pub itself? Nice pub. Um, only, I'm guessing there's like a bar area. Because it was quite big, I think. There's that little sofa area by the fireplace. Proper open yeah. fire as well. So well, that's worth a few points. Yeah. But I think you can you could, like book a table just for drinks. Right. But no one was there for drinks. No, no, just a full, uh, full dining room, pretty full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there's a whole, there's another little dining room area as well. Yeah, see that area. I wasn't sure whether that was for just drinks or dining, but it did look like people were dining. I've in got there, half so. a feeling. I don't know if it's open at the moment because of current restrictions, but there's another area upstairs. I think. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so big place. Nice, pleasant country pub for nowadays. Quite a classic country pub, I would say. Well. Yeah, pub in inverted commas, you can go there for drinks, but really, yeah. really it's a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Pleasant room to be in, quite inviting. Yeah, like nice oak beams, the yeah. artwork on the walls, inoffensive. Mm-hmm. Atmosphere was quite nice. Yeah. Quite busy, which is always... It's always good for like a, what, Tuesday? Yeah, exactly, yeah, better than walking into an empty Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were dining with our brother yes. Alex, who is not featuring on the pod, because we've only got one mic... And two people is enough for one mic. Editing is a fucking headache. Otherwise, it's just going to be a mess. It's like we talk over each other enough. We don't need to introduce oh, another. God. If you don't mind me reversing yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing on the first episode. How much we talk over each other as well. I feel I'm a bigger offender in that regard. But So, can we, shall we talk about the first episode? Because this is the first time I've listened to it. Or... Yeah, so we finally dropped it today. I, my little obligatory proof listen. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> a, couple of our, a couple of our mates have given us positive feedback, but I don't know if that's just because they're our friends. They're, they're pals, nice, you know, yeah, yeah. Or uh, it was actually half listenable to. Yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's great and it's going to be the best episode. And they're like, bit your eye on the other episodes, guys. <laughs> uh, I doubt it, though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should get fucked up. We'll be back in an hour. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> get the pit puree out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what did you think of the table? So it was a super long table. It was a, yeah, it's a big table with three seats either end. Yeah, and we and had some, another group dining on the other end. Yeah, some fucking obnoxious old English guy, some Aussie chick, and some like where was he from? Like Azerbaijan or something? Really? Azerbaijan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you figure that? What did you said? Oh right, okay. Theo was. Well, I didn't I was, really clock these people at all. I was just. I was offended by their pseudo intellectual okay. bullshit they were chatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing so so loudly, bloody Aussies, that barely hear myself think. They were inspired by episode one <laughs> of the Daily Dines. <laughs> I I really didn't hear them or anything, so I, they didn't bother me. 
at all. But you were that much closer. That much closer and that much more annoyed. Yeah. So the table, the seating arrangement was fine. No, nothing yeah. special. Oh, it's comfortable enough. I dipped in, had my back to the window, so I had a view of the pub, which was... Mm-hmm. I sat at the head, as, as one does. Decent selection, I would say, of beers on tap. Yeah, I tried to order a neck oil, but they're like, oh, uh, we're not opening another cask of that, because we're locked down in two days, and we don't want any of the beers to go off. Yeah. And it's like, it's a full fucking restaurant, I'm sure you could serve. Like, normally a Firkin's like 72 pints, I think. It's like, I'm sure you could sling close to 72 pints, and if you if they were slinging it... I would have fucking had a good chunk of it, you know. <laughs> well, I say that, I get like three pints tonight. But yeah. I don't know how long they've been turning people. They've been turning people down for the last four days. It's like phew, definitely gonna fucking pull that many pints. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The daily maths problem. <laughs> 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 so let's get on to the grub. So we started with a garlic ciabatta with a nutborn tomato mm. dip. Lack of a better word, I did. Yeah, it was a dip. I was fucking picture of the menu. And um, Nutbon Nursery is like a fairly local producer in Sussex mm-hmm. who's renowned for doing top quality tomatoes. Like, uh, and their tomatoes are really fucking good. Yeah, they like the Harry and Meghan had one of their varieties, the piccolo tomatoes, I believe, which are like little cherry tomatoes uh, at their wedding. Oh, sorry, I thought Harry and Meghan were like the owners of Nutbon. No, I was like, no. of course they're gonna have their. <laughs> Own tomatoes at the wedding. No, I see. Right, Harry no, and Meghan. Okay. Yeah. Specifically requested by Nutborn. Yeah, they so are. They have their tomatoes at the at a royal wedding. So the tomatoes are fantastic. They really are. So the garlic bread was decent, man. Really, one of the best garlic breads I've ever had in a pub for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It was a big, for lack of a better word, like cob. Do you think that's? Uh, it was ciabatta. Oh, was it ciabatta? It said ciabatta on the menu. Oh, okay. It looked. It was way too thick to be a ciabatta. It was big, really nice and soft, and just well. Well made garlic, I think. Yeah, generously filled with garlic butter, proper bits of garlic yes. as well. The tomato dip was nice. It's a bit lackluster. Yeah, it didn't bring much to the party. Yeah. I thought. And the starters, my starter was a bit lackluster yeah, as well. Yeah. So, what did you have? I had the mussels with. Uh, cooked mussels with cider, leek, and bacon broth served with granary bread. Yeah, so my initial reaction when it came was this is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look quite as appealing as it mm. should have done. It looked, I mean, yeah. it's a big bowl of mussels. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know how hard it is to fuck up. With, like, bacon just sprinkled all over. Mm. The bacon was in really thin strips, so it was just, I don't know, just all this bacon stuck on the outside of the mussel shells. <laughs> so it was a bit lame. The granary bread was a bit whatever. It was yeah. just a bit of granary bread. Not inoffensive, though. Just fine. The mussels were nice. Nice big mussels. Um, I tried one, they just kind of lacked much flavour. Yeah. I think the mussels are quite strong, distinct kind of texture. I don't know, maybe they've been a bit overcooked or something. Uh, like that. I don't know. And the broth, the cider broth they came in, again, just lacked a bit of lustre. I was expecting this really rich, creamy mm. broth to go lovely with these mussels. But it just wasn't that. It just tastes like chicken stock to me. And cider with mussels, it's like... Quite delicate seafood. It's like it's really white wine or something. Yeah, so white wine's white the classic, dinner. and I didn't even get that much cider flavour from the whole ordeal, which is fine by me. I mm. don't really like cider. So yeah, my my starter was a bit meh. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. good. Yeah, uh, I had a slow cooked ham hock and green pepper terrine, which I didn't know what terrine was when I ordered it. Mm. Uh, but it's like a block of compressed cold meat. Yeah, with piccolo and sourdough, mm-hmm. and it kind of had a few salad leaves and like a nice vinaigrette. Kind of drizzle yep. around for as a garnish, which I quite enjoyed actually. It was just very very nice. The terrine to sourdough ratio was a bit out. I ended up having less bread with each bit of terrine than I started off with. You see, I, I started off with quite generous amounts of sourdough, mm-hmm. but I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good actually. On the whole, nice kind of it's terrine, quite classic English thing. English or French? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. Riga Piccadilly as well, actually. Yeah, you raised nice, it, yeah. A nice punch to it, not too overpowering. Quite, quite well, I thought. I tried a bit. It wasn't... At Hudson's high pickling standards. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the terrine. When we were talking through the menu, I would never order terrine, so I guess it's just not something for me. But Fair enough. Um, and there are a couple other pieces on the menu that looked pretty good, that I'm tempted by, but I'm not going to start reading it right now. <laughs> Should we just read the whole menu? <laughs> They nothing much else to say. They, no. they came quite promptly. It did, yeah. We weren't around for long at all. Um, Which is good. We were hungry, ready so to go. Drinking cheer drop. You were on. Well, you started off with a pint of 
Young's original? Yes. Yeah, I just went, because I was driving, I just went yeah. for the weakest thing on tap that I could see. It was quite nice, actually. It's I thought bad. it was... It's it came down a bitter. Yeah, it came sort of cold. And you know me, I like my drinks cold. So mm. I was happy with that, because I was expecting, like, a room temperature ordeal. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. I, I think it probably is supposed to be. It depends how cold their salary is, I suppose. Yeah. But it was nice, pleasant, pleasant way to kick off the meal. Uh, what would you have your main? So I, being in a pub, and I just fancied it, I went for the Onslow Burger with... Smoked streaky bacon, mm. smoked cheddar, burger sauce, and a brioche bun, the celeriac slaw, and not thick cut chips, because Hudson went for the fries. I asked for the fries, because... It's not a bloody animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I have a burger, I want fries, God damn it. Decent burger. So the bacon was really nice and crispy, yeah. which is what I want when I get a burger. There's been too many occasions where you get a burger and the bacon's like stringy because the fat's not crispy. Yeah. So really nice crispy. Yeah, and then the, like, the bacon comes out as you try and take a bite. You just pull yeah. out all the bacon. So exactly. That's not what I need. Exactly. So really nice crispy bacon that like crunched Did off. you get much of the smokiness from the cheddar? No, no, I didn't. Was the bacon smoked? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. The burger was okay. It was a bit chewy and dry in places. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Had mm. been cooked to shit. <laughs> I think the, uh, <laughs> the technical term. Yeah. In the culinary world. So, like, in the middle it was very nice, but on the edges it was a bit like... <laughs> yeah, fair enough. A lot of chewing going on and just dry. And Yeah, bread on bread on bread. So much fucking bread by this Which point. Which batter, and then the, whatever it was, the granary. The granary. Mussels, and then the brioche bun. Then a brioche bun with a whole load of fries. Yeah, they, were, they didn't skimp on the fries, did they? No, so I was filling up sharpish at this point. I was going for it. And the little slaw thing was quite nice. Yeah, I tried a little bit of that, and it was nice. Didn't have much crunch to it, though. No, it was a bit... You want a slaw to have a bit of crunch. What do they call it? Celeriac slaw? Yeah. I think slaw has celeriac in it anyway. No, does it not? Coleslaw, no. Okay, fair enough. It just tastes like cabbage to me. I <laughs> say it wasn't yeah, like, yeah. like the the cabbage even overpowered the mayonnaise or whatever you put in coleslaw. Yeah. So it wasn't that great. And that's a pub burger. <laughs> in, in terms of pub burgers, though, it was a decent pub burger. Yeah, I would get it again. I think yeah, we're coming in from a hypercritical viewpoint, mm. especially given this last weekend. Yeah. Would you go? I feel like oh, you're slamming it. <laughs> but again, yeah, slamming what? The food so far. Oh, do you think? I don't know. It's, again, we're coming at it with like a, uh, a critic's eye. <laughs> but, it was a decent burger. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you can't find the end. But I do feel like I'm slamming it a bit. And yes, I think I am being hypercritical. But we've we've trained ourselves to be so. Exactly. Uh, so Serve me that shit. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what the score is because I'm interested yeah. to see what's what. I had the fish and chips, another pub classic. And I rated it. It was a really nice, light, fluffy, crispy batter. Mm-hmm. It was a bit cod. Right? There's not much to say. Nice bit of white fish. Not too, nothing too offensive. Uh, the lemon came like slightly charred. Yeah. Just to, I think as like a nice garnish uh, with tartare sauce and mushy peas. Not overly mushed. I think they're garden peas rather than um, petit pois or the butter. No, butter peas is what they normally use for mushy. Oh, peas. is it? I didn't know that. Yeah. So they're a lot kind of. Premier, I want to say. But I preferred this as a standard mushy peas and the classic thick cut chips. Samphire? Samphire? Samphire. What's Samphire? It's like the herb. That really expensive one. Yeah, yeah. Apparently that's expensive. Samphire tartare sauce. Not sure Could I got. Did you taste it? No. It was crushed minted peas as well. <laughs> Didn't taste any mint, I don't think. No, I'd be surprised if that was sam- Samphire. That's what it says on the menu. Tartar. Yeah, interesting. Suspicious. They're pushing up their prices without really delivering the goods. Around. That's the thing. That was fourteen fifty, so it's not like outrageous for a pub round here. It's quite expensive. Fourteen fifty for fish and chips. How much was the burger? Fourteen twenty five. That's way more reasonable. What I will say about your main, I didn't try any actually. I just couldn't face yeah, it by the time. Did you not? No. Okay, fair enough. By the time I was dealing with my burger, I just mm. could not face extra no. stodge to go on top. But your tr- your thick cut chips looked really nice they and crispy. Were very nice, yeah. It's I... Been too many times we've all got fish and chips, and the chips like are just shit. Soggy, soggy chips. Yeah. These are like nice, crisp, properly crisp. Yeah, the thick cut and lovely and soft inside. Despite the fact of samphire, can't tell sauce. Well, it's such a small amount. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking for in the taste though of samphire. But uh, one of the best fish and chips I've had in the pub. 
Nice. Definitely up there. Nice. So I'd say the burger was one of the best burgers I've had in the pub as well. So Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. It's like I think it's deserving of its four point six or whatever on TripAdvisor. Mm-hmm. At this point, we were both thoroughly full because it was a generous service serving for me as well. It's like a big old fillet of cod. So full. And I'm full right now. <laughs> I'm even talking about all this food. I'm just like, <laughs> please, <laughs> please stop. Yeah, absolutely stuffed. So I was going to bail on pudding. I was flipping a bitch. <laughs> I was all over the place. I was like, I need to go home. I need a poo. I don't know what I need. <laughs> you cry. Mummy. But Theo went out, had had a digestion cigarette. I calmed myself right down. <laughs> deep breath, a couple of deep breaths. And uh, we went for pud. Yeah. And your pud looked massive as well. I'm glad I, I nipped in where I did with my choice. Yeah, cause I, so I came back in. I read, So they bought the pudding menus, and I had already chosen what I wanted before theatre came. Which is one of my favourite puddings. Mm. Which, as you said, is kind of a wee bit unlike... Oh, what? This wasn't on the bloody menu. At the Go for it. Shoot. They'd, uh, they've got strawberry eating mess on their online menu. Oh, I'm surprised that they didn't have that. did not appear on their actual menu. So that's like one of my other favourite puddings. But Hudson had a, what was it, a raspberry and vanilla creme brulee. Yeah, which was... So I was saying to you in the pub, I don't think I've ever had a creme brulee, or at least ordered one. Fair enough. What did you think then? It's very nice. It's yeah. um, like, uh, I would describe it as set custard sort of dessert with mm-hmm. a burnt cream on top. Uh, it's, I think it's like caramelised sugar. So it's like sprinkled yes. with sugar and then yeah, they, sorry. they go out yeah. with a the blowtorch, don't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 they do, yeah. No, yeah, it was very nice. Wasn't getting much raspberry. Maybe I'm just not remembering. Was there just a raspberry plonked on top? Right. Yeah, I bet that's... <laughs> for a raspberry and vanilla creme brulee, comma, lemon shortbread. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't face the shortbread. I had enough bread in my life. <laughs> I tried a little bit and it was very lemony. You said it was very lemony, so I probably nice. would have liked it. Yeah, it was quite nice, but you'd already had, yeah. As you said, <laughs> you've already had three courses of bread. Yeah. <laughs> so you had bread on every part of that yeah. meal. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No wonder I'm so full. I thought you were going to say fat. <laughs> and that I fi- like I-, I was no fucking spring chicken before we started this but now I sit upstairs at my desk at work I'm like I'm so fucking fat I can like feel the rolls have like increased in size and like my face I'm like sitting there with this huge fucking tire around my fucking chin I really think I have put on a substantial amount of weight I'm interested you- to see you were, we were talking about, I think it might have been at Bull Rush, or maybe just at the hotel or something, or at the pub. We were talking about, on our trip, you potentially talking about your weight gain? Yeah, so I'm going to... Over, over the course of this project? So I know roughly what I weighed before we started this, so I'm going to weigh myself after the KFC. <laughs> Straight after, as well. Probably won't be able to record the pod, because I would have hung myself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I've put on weight, so... Yeah, mm-hmm. I, same. I need to start running again. You should see this fucking guy. He's like a rake. <laughs> yeah, a rake with a beer belly and fat cheeks. All right. <laughs> Theo Cheek Vindaloo. <laughs> <laughs> that was so lame. What did you go for for put? So I had strawberry and white chocolate cheesecake. And here it says pistachio ice cream, but there was no ice cream. But I didn't also need any ice cream at all. Sure. But it didn't say that on the menu they gave us. No, it didn't. No. So I should forgive them that. It was a fucking massive wedge. I was, I was hoping for something half the size, but for 6.50 or whatever it was. It was huge. I saw that, and I did not envy you for having to tackle that beast. It was big. Yeah. You're a cheesecake man. What do you think? I like cheesecake. I like cheap cheesecake. Mm-hmm. That kind of... You buy it from Sainsbury's for a couple of quid, kind of cheesecake. The and mandarin one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this, I don't see feel the bill, but it was, it did, it was nice. I maybe got a third, half of the way through, before I got a chunk of white chocolate. And I was like, oh yeah, there's white chocolate. Mm. <laughs> and it was like a strawberry compote on top, with a raspberry that was ever so slightly mouldy. There <laughs> <laughs> were bits of mould in my raspberry. Not enough to not eat it. Yeah. I ate the whole thing. I saw you picking it apart. I thought you were going to take it off. It was a tiny, tiny little bit like between the, the seed pods. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, fuck it. I quite like raspberry. <laughs> so. They seem to love plunk, plonking a raspberry on top of these things. Yeah, pretty good thing. I think to go mad about, but nice finish that I didn't really need. I no, think that's why I'm not going too mad about it, because I was so full for that. Yeah. You were so full for the creme brulee. Mm. No, neither of us were like, ooh, what a delicious, delicate dish. It's just like, ugh. 
I think today, for example, we fucking sugar I didn't need. We've gotten into this dangerous yeah. habit of having three courses and you know coffees mm. afterwards every single day. Bad habits be in. <laughs> <laughs> But we're going yeah. the full shebang, and we didn't stop today. For you. For you, dear listener. Oh, what are you saying? For me? I'm sorry, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want pudding. <laughs> yeah, I had to convince you into getting pudding. <laughs> and then you got my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> Did you write up? No, it's for you. The pod fam. The pod fam. We're, we're, we're doing, doing this. For the pod fod. I was driving. You had the Irish coffee. I had the Irish coffee. It was a pretty good Irish coffee. Best, I s- your best of the trip so far? Oh, uh, sorrel. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. Second best. Served at a decent, a proper Irish coffee glass. I don't know, did I have beef with the one at Bull Rush? I feel like I had beef, but... Bull Rush? Oh no, you drank that. Yeah. What was, what was the one I had? You yeah, had oh, one of the Chinese yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I was too kind on yesterday. It was, it was... Yeah, because you were sort of singing its praises a bit, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, cause I think it was proper coffee, and like, right. a splash of whiskey, it was, yeah. it was fine. Any was, coffee that came my way after yesterday's fucking <laughs> shit show. At least it was like... Coffee. From an espresso machine. And it tasted like coffee. And it was yeah. hot. So I was happy. Was it? Cheeky cappuccino as well. I've never, never seen you buy a cappuccino. Yeah, I, I thought, fuck it. Let's go all out. I'll have <laughs> extra milk on top of my creme brulee. <laughs> yeah, so I rated the Irish coffee. Good, I'm glad. Because you've definitely gotten the raw end of the deal on Irish coffee. <laughs> I think so. Show. I've had yeah. like some of the... Ooh, I've also had the worst, but I've had some great Irish coffees. <sighs> what was the worst thing? Fucking, you know, Tacarays. Oh, God. That was yeah. a dismal display. I was say, even my mind, the Duke Cumberland Arms is probably better than that. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. For sure. yeah. <laughs> but um, decent. I enjoyed it. I think I am the fullest I've been on this trip. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about it in the car, even after Dastan's. Yeah, fucking And I was full after that. But today I was full. Mm. Super, super full. Yeah, well, as I said, they're not messing around with the portions. So, how much did we spend, Hudson? We spent £80. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's kind of working out roughly between the three of us. And Hudson wasn't drinking. So, 80 quid with a tip for a four course meal. Oh, yeah. And I was drinking and had Irish coffee and stuff. It still sounds quite a lot. It to does me. sound quite a lot. Like the Chinese yesterday. But you're like, that's alright. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this was better, though. This was better. Oh, yeah, better. this was better. For roughly the same price, actually. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. I think 40 so each is quite a lot for a pub yeah, meal. Yeah, an extra drink. Again, three courses with an Irish coffee and the bread on the side. Oh, it is a lot, but then 15 quid for a burger. Yeah, what do you expect? Go, go back a few years, and that would have been outrageous for a pub, wouldn't it? Yeah. But as we said at the beginning, this is barely a pub. Yeah, it's more of a restaurant. The outside seating area look nice for, like, summer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They've got these, like, nice little heated booths. Mm. You can't smoke in the heating booths. <laughs> so, they're quite oh, they're, they're made like, up. They're trendy, yeah. yeah. there's loads of crap in them, basically. <laughs> you just saw some blankets in there, so... I'd rather just smoke than <laughs> all this tat. But look, it, it was quite big, so you could fit quite a lot of people in. Yeah, for sure. Massive bloody car park as well. Yeah, huge. And you told me there's an overflow as well. Yeah, yeah. So in prior to COVID, they must be a destination pub for um, Guildford and surrounding areas. For sure. And I can see why I would go on a Sunday if I lived anywhere close. Right, schools on the doors. Schools on the doors. This is a what really tricky one to score for me. Didn't love it, I didn't hate it. Yeah. Don't have much to say about it. You know, it was a pub meal. But it was a decent pub meal. Yeah. It's not going to score highly. But it's not going to score that low. Like no. I'm struggling. <sighs> I'm struggling to score. I, I think whatever you... I'm going to give it is going to be too high because I enjoyed the experience and the food. And it was good service. Yeah, the service was good. We were waiting around a bit for pudding. Mm. And because I was an idiot and didn't ask for the bill. <laughs> didn't ask for the bill with um, when we got the coffees. Yeah, amateur move. I went yeah, for cause... one piss and think I fucked everything up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I've got excuses. But I'm really having trouble scoring this place. I see. Yes. I was kind of hoping. I think we've done a fairly good job of taking it in turns to score a restaurant. Can I give a ballpark? I'm going to give I've it. I've always rated a bit higher than you. Yeah, it's my turn to go no, first, I'm definitely. Because I'm always okay, struggling, yeah. so I'm like, what's yours? Yeah. And then I always lowball you. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've, I've got a score of my head. Okay. All things considered, i.e. it being a pub and whatnot, I'm going to score... Onslow Arms, 475. No, I'm going to score it a t- 
Yeah, no, 475 is what my final score is. Huh. Interesting. Because I, well, maybe I, I feel like I'm lowballing it now. Oh, maybe shit. I was lowballing because I was expecting you to lowball Are you wild. lowballing? Fuck, you're going to make I me... I was going to go for 456. Okay, alright. Again, it's so the same. Like, uh, it's one of the best pub meals I've ever had, and maybe I've just been spoiled. We definitely have been, and that is definitely affecting... No, I don't think it is, actually. I think it's a fair score. It's but quite it's, fair indeed, actually. It was pretty expensive for decent... I bet it was decent grub in a nice environment. And today I think we established a few episodes back that, like, an average meal is maybe around 250, 300. Yeah, yeah. Which makes you think we scored yesterday a bit too high. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, like, it was really good pub grub. Yes. So, 4 4.56. I think that's a good score. I'm going to go 4.55. <laughs> no, 4.75. Because the atmosphere was just quite nice and the service was on point as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy was, with my score. It's a pleasant place to be. We'll definitely recommend it. Yes, for sure, yeah. I would go back. Yeah, for sure. For whatever reason. Not to eat, though. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to rescore all the restaurants tomorrow for our, no. ready for our final episode. Day Oh. Yeah, oh, sorry. Oh, you're just ready through. for. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. My scores are going to drastically change. You reckon? So, All of <laughs> them. Well, I'll save it for the pod. Okay. Drastically, I'm being. I'm exaggerating, probably. So I, I just want to see, I think in hindsight, it'd be interesting that back in hindsight, yeah. at the hierarchy, yeah, and be like, ooh, that restaurant was better than that one, but just through dint of being like a, a new and novel scoring system. Mm. didn't quite have it down yet but I think mm. after taking some convincing to have a scoring system at all mm. let alone out of a thousand I think I've, I've gotten used to it now and I think it's quite like the scoring system I like the scoring system a lot actually but are you going to bother redoing your scores I'm just interested on to see what I'm actually yeah. going to give them I'm more interested in the hierarchy and maybe I might adjust some scores for the final episode but we'll be pretty busy tomorrow for the whole day yes it's a day trip yeah it's our last meal out yeah, through lockdown 2.0. And it's going to be a big one. Very yeah. much looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. This was one of the most highly anticipated restaurants. It's going to be a contender for top spot, I think. I hope. I hope. Yeah. I mean, it's, that, it's got those kind of reviews. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait. Nice little day trip. That's all I'm dropping. I had the muscles with... Should we see if it's on? Yeah. The only time I haven't taken a picture of the menu was one of the bigger menus. Man, I don't rate this. What, gross? Yeah. What's, what's up? What's up with you? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's wrong? What's, what's, up? what's up, man? This must be something. Fuck off! I keep asking me to put my bloody email address on, I don't want it.